Okay, so it's time to start modeling our car. And the easiest way that um, I like, I found, or I like to go ahead and do this is um, the polyplane and extrude method. Um, a lot of people tend to, to use the box method, but um, and, and that's fast and it works. But I, I really like to use the uh, the polyplane method and. It, saves me you know some time and it really is allowing me to go ahead and um, basically underlie the geometry or you know shape the geometry much better than I can with you know the box method um, this way that when we try to like extrude and um, try to match the car's concept as much as we possibly can it's easier for me to to get all that detail in and and then we can you know simply make our cuts and it's going to be, you know, easier for me to actually model the car. So, as you can see, I start in with um, usually blocking it in on the uh, on the windshield, and I just simply adjust points and and shape it as needed. And, and the main key is just to try and match the the underlying geometry as much as you possibly can um, but like I said earlier you know the blueprints don't match a hundred percent and this is because um, someone drew it, um, it and, and that and that even goes with you know if you use sites like the blueprints.com where you you know try to get car blueprints the blueprints aren't going to match a hundred percent because they're not manufacturer blueprints um, they're basically concepts of vehicles um, that have been drawn by somebody um, and they're like I said they're definitely not the the actual concepts of, um, of vehicles because if you were going to you know really get an act try to get an accurate blueprint of a of a of a car you'd actually have to go to you know one of the big car companies and and even then you're just not going to get the the actual matching blueprints because they're uh it's it's probably more of a security thing um rather than anything and it's just you want to try to match the car as much as possible they're more for you know say basing your car model so um the easiest way is you know if you use a blueprint try to match it as much as you can in my or i'm sorry in photoshop and and go from there but it, you're never going to get one that's you know a hundred percent accurate and a hundred percent perfect there's always going to be some issue with it with it not matching up and you know you should be able to at least if you have at least some decent modeling skill you should be able to basically model a car with um, a front and side image and a back image usually And as you can see, I just simply, you know, uh, keep extruding edges and, and try to somewhat match the underlying geometry. Um, and, and this goes with because if you can match the underlying geometry as much as possible, it's going to be easier for you later in the long run to, to go ahead and basically cut your wheel wells off, cut your, um, cut your windows off, cut your doors, make your hood. Um, and that's that's the key. Is you want to give yourself, um, you know, the sort of right cuts and the sort of right places to go ahead and cut the rest of the geometry apart to to go ahead and model your car. You want to make it easier on your as easy on yourself as possible, rather than you know have everything be somewhat of a headache. Because if it's a headache, then it's just going to cause a lot of problems and a lot of issues later on down the road. So the better job that you can initially do with the blocking of the car or um, the original shaping of the car 
it's just going to make your job that much easier. There's no real um, special secret here. It, it, it's all just uh, trying to match it as much as you possibly can. Um, and, and try and do the best job that you possibly can to match the the image or the underlying um, concept of of our car. And you will see that my edge flow, you know, really will go ahead and sort of mimic and, and simulate where I will need to go ahead and make those cuts. And that's a very very big part of modeling a car because if you don't match it as well as you can, you're just gonna basically have a headache later on down the road. And I know this is where it's going to, you know, sort of simply take a little bit of, you know, time, a little bit of extra time, but uh, in, in the long run, it's just going to make us, you know, model the car properly and, and basically have a, uh, a real good looking car in, in the long run. Um, and I'm definitely doing this tutorial a little bit differently this time. Um, I'm more or less considering myself this piece of art something that I would, you know, like to hopefully win an award with. Um, and, and so I'm trying to capture all the detail that I possibly can or putting all the effort that that I actually put into a piece of art um, so that you guys can can really see that um, my process in general and, and hopefully you enjoy that um, it's definitely probably going to be a long process for our overall end result but I'm hoping you like it and I'm hoping you uh, you enjoy it. And as you can see right away that we already have some something that looks somewhat of a car, um, somewhat like a, a car, and it just slowly comes together. And you just basically want to keep the uh, the geometry low and um, try to shape the car as much as you possibly possibly can when the geometry is at this lower state because if you tend to um, add geometry too quickly it, it's going to tend to get hard to, to go ahead and actually make your car or anything in general. And as you can see, I'm you know always constantly adjusting points and and trying to um, adjust vertices the way that um, I think it's going to work. And I'm always trying to refine the shape and, and trying to make the shape that much better. So that we actually have a, a better solution and, and, and better um, layout for our car. You just want to try to get the uh, the edge flow to be, you know, properly laid out, and it just takes a little bit of time and a, and a little bit of effort. And you want to, like I said, you really want to try to keep the geometry or um, the geometric layout at least to a point where it's low enough that you can manipulate it and and not have much of a an issue or problem. You definitely don't want to try to, you know, model a car with, say, like a, a smooth box because it's just going to sort of take a, take a long time to really adjust all those points to, to fit the car properly. And so um, I do this, you know, like I said, with the polyplane method, and it just allows me to, to really go ahead and, you know, focus on the shape of the car.
and you can you can see with the uh, the underlying images that they don't match a hundred percent and like I said there, there's really no way to get your images to match especially when doing cars a hundred percent accurately and it's just because they're not from you know the Ford Motor Company or Chevy or, or whatever it, it's just not gonna match a hundred percent you definitely want to try to get it as close um, to matching as possible and, and that's a lot of Photoshop uh, a lot of Photoshop editing and, and it can be really time consuming and if you can just you know basically cut your images and, and bring them into Maya and have them match somewhat you should be okay when you you know you go to model a car but like I said you know cars are a little bit different than than doing character art because character art in, in a lot of ways I don't really want to say it's easy um, it's a lot less um, effort for sure um, in some cases yeah characters can be you know very difficult and very time consuming especially when you're you know you're looking at game characters or uh, the characters from like say something like epic games because they're so so detail oriented that it's it's unbelievable but you know in in terms of of a vehicle it it's more technical um, and there's a lot of detail that has to go into a car, especially if you want that car to look right or look good. Um, if you have a car that's basically just a box, it's it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? For for a car to really look good, you have to put a lot of detail um, and a lot of effort into you know trying to capture every little piece of geometry that's that's in the concept or. Um, in general, or uh, model in general, because if a car is not somewhat detailed, whenever you go to render it, it just isn't going to look fantastic. And that's where you see like a lot of people will model a car, but they won't go to the painstaking effort to model the inside of the car, and they'll just you know whenever they go to render it, they render it out with you know black windows. N no real car actually has a completely b black window and that's a big key whenever you're you know going to say hey, oh this car is fake and um compared to say someone who will put the inf effort into actually modeling the inside of the car <laughs> um and, and then you'll be like well is this r is this a real car is this a fake car who knows you know it it's just on the effort you also put into it. Um, it's just the painstaking details that you know you just got to put it into the car models. Our eventual end result here definitely won't be a car that's um, probably ready for production. It'll probably be end up being way too high in terms of a uh, polygon count or um, even detail count, but that's not our goal here our goal is to to basically teach you how to model a car um, and show you my process of of modeling a car and what I usually do to to model a car um, you basically just want to have a lot of fun with this and you want to try to put in um, at least as much effort to that you can to try and make the the artwork or the piece of artwork as uh, as nice as you can. And as you can see, you know we have um, something that looks somewhat like a like a car right now and you can see it's starting to take shape pretty nicely um, and it's all just an effort and you know just extrude here just extrude there try to match it and match the images as much as we can
and any time that I uh, extrude geometry, I you know I'm trying to keep it as as big as quads as or as close to quads as I possibly can because it's just going to make everything easier in the long run. It when we go to cut our car apart or um, add the details on our car, if we keep try and keep the geometry as much as quads as, as possible. And you can see that this is um, starting to look like a car right now. Um, and it's just it's going to take a little bit of time to to get our car done. So um, yeah, just uh, keep working on it and and keep going. <laughs>